Welcome to Studio Press TV. In this episode, we're going to take a look at how to install Genesis in a child theme. Now, there's a couple different ways to install Genesis and uh, child theme. First of all, you can do it manually with an FTP client, and basically all you're doing in there is you're transferring files from one host to another uh, using uh, some sort of file transfer protocol client. And the second way that we're going to take a look at is to automatically transfer up through the upload feature of the WordPress dashboard. Now, just a quick note, in order for child themes to work, Genesis must first be installed and it has to remain in the WP content themes directory on your server. Now just a real quick, we'll go out and I want to show you my test site here. Right now we're running the default theme 2011 and uh, you can see I have uh, all my posts that are right here and what we're going to do is we're going to install Genesis and then a child theme. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to go over to our appearance menu item and we're going to navigate to themes. I can see the current theme that I have and also all available themes. And now we're going to go to the tab at the top that says install themes. And we're going to do this by upload. So I'm going to choose upload. And since I've already downloaded Genesis onto my machine, I'm able just to click the choose file button and navigate to where I've stored the Genesis file that I've downloaded. Now the current version of this video is 1.8.1. .1, so I'm going to grab that, choose open, and then I'm going to click install now. It's going to take a couple seconds and very quickly it's going to say that my theme has been installed successfully. I'm going to click the activate link and Genesis has now been activated. And you'll notice this very quickly by over on your left hand side of the menu item uh, you'll see Genesis that's there and it has a few more different sub menu items there as well. We'll be taking a look at what each one of those does in a separate video. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to install our child theme. Now if we just go back over to our test site real quick, we'll do a little refresh. We'll notice is now that we have the default Genesis theme. It's our sample child theme. We want to pretty that up just a little bit. And we're going to install a uh, child theme called 1140. So the process is exactly the same. What we're going to do is go back up to the install themes tab and I'm going to choose upload and then once again hit the choose file button and the theme that we're going to install is called 1140 so I have that zip file there I can either double click it or click open choose install now and it says the theme is installed successfully we're going to activate that theme and as it takes us back to our appearance page here we we'll notice that the current theme is the 1140 child theme we'll go back to our test site do a little refresh and there you go Theme 1140 is installed, and uh, we have a beautiful child theme that is now running our site. And that's how easy it is to install Genesis and a child theme.